work uh, with this combined data set. It's definitely, this is an audience that will understand what I'm talking about in these relationships much more than any other audience I've shared this with, really. Uh, so I'm excited to hear um, and kind of discuss the results we got with everyone. So I'm just going to briefly kind of touch on these infra orders. I know everyone here is really familiar with Heteroptor, of course, uh, but I think it's helpful just to kind of remind us of uh, some of the, the main groups that we're working with. So we have Enicocephalomorpha, the, or the unique headed bugs, which are found in the leaf litter in the soil. There are only two families of Enicocephalomorphins. We have Dipsocoromorpha, or the minute litter bugs, with six families that are found uh, from the leaf litter to the canopy and along gravel banks. Um, then we have the true water bugs, or Nepomorphins, with 11 families, and they're uh, primarily aquatic, with some hygropetric and littoral species as well. <laughs> Then we have Geromorpha, I don't like this bar, I feel like it's covering things up. Geromorpha or the semi-aquatic bugs, which are found along the water surface. And then Leptopotomorpha or the shore bugs. There are four families of Leptopotomorphins and again, they're hygropetric and literal as well as their ground dwelling species as well. But I'm gonna spend most of my talk focused on the two largest info orders of Heteroptera, Simicomorpha and Pentatomomorpha. Uh, so there are 17 families of Simicomorpha, uh, Simicomorphins. They are found in a diversity of terrestrial microhabitats uh, from the ground uh, to the spider webs, plants, and more. And I don't, have to convince, I don't have to convince everyone here how important it is to uh, understand the relationships with, uh, within Simicomorpha, but just a few kind of points. There are a large number of pest species within Simicomorphins such as the tarnished plant bug, which att attacks vegetable crops, commercial flower plants, fruit trees, and nursery stock, and that's a myriad. Uh, the azalea lace bug, a tingid that feeds on ornamental trees and shrubs. And then finally the bed bug, uh, which had a resurgence in the 1990s and is now resistant to DDT, making control much more difficult. <laughs> uh, also something that's really interesting to study within, uh, uh, within bed bugs and closely related families, is the evolution of traumatic insemination, where uh, males will insert their adiagus into the female ab abdominal wall uh, rather than uh, how it is normally inserted. So just kind of going over some of you know, our current understanding of these questions. So uh, we have this unknown question of whether traumatic insemination evolved two or three times independently within Simicomorpha. Also, monophyly of the superfamily uh, Microphysoidea is debated. And then relationships with the Neboidea have never been tested using molecular data. And then finally, uh, placement of Meroidea and, and relationships within are also uncertain, despite the clear uh, importance of this group. Then looking at penatomomorphins, so penatomomorpha is uh, by far and wide the largest info order with 41 families and occupying again a diversity of terrestrial microhabitats, including plants, bark, the ground, and more. And again, there are numerous uh, pest species making this group of uh, critical importance to understand relationships within it. So we just as some a few examples, we have the bronze orange bug, which sucks sap from citrus trees, causing the flowers and fruit to fall. Um, we have the, uh, we have Eurogaster intergaseps, which is a major pest of cereal crops. And we have the Harlequin cabbage bug, which feeds on cabbage and related crops. So some of the kind of unanswered questions we have are if Penetomoidea is sister to all other Trichophora. And you can see, I don't know if this is, that little bar thing is not going away for me. Um, so we have, yeah, placement of uh, Penetomoidea being different between Bioarchidol and Henry's uh, manuscript. And then also relationships with the Mygeoidea are contested um, with uh, differing results, again, between Henry and Henry's manuscript, Bioarchidol and the Leodol manuscript. And then while Aratidae is consistently placed as sister to the rest of Penetomomorpha, the family Termatophidity is never included with molecular data. And so, um, we are commonly seeing Aradoidea being placed as sister to the rest of Penatomomorpha, but that is really only Aradidae being included with molecular data. So my objectives for this study were first to test hypotheses of relationships within superfamilies of Simicomorpha 
And then second, to test hypotheses of relationships between and within superfamilies of Penetoma morpha. So to do this, um, I used the combined data set. So I, I had 104 in-group taxa with 71 of the AUN heteropteran families included. And we were really excited about this data set because it's the most comprehensive molecular data set of heteropteran families to date. Uh, we combined uh, uh, 57 transcriptomes and 47 genomes uh, to uh, create this data set. And uh, we ran morphology prediction in a software package called Olivaseq. And to do this, uh, just briefly, I used Rodney's prolixis as my ortholog set uh, to uh, make these orthology predictions. And then I wanted to reduce the missing data as much as possible. So I removed all loci that had less than 90% of the taxa included to reduce that missing data. And that ended up with a data set of about 1400 loci. I aligned my um, loci in MACT and I ran preliminary analysis, a maximum likelihood analysis in IQ tree. So looking at uh, in forward relationships, I just I wanted to briefly touch on these. Um, yeah, I just wanted to briefly touch on, on these. Um, so you can see that a lot of these relationships are very similar to, uh, to previous analyses. Uh, we have Simicomorpha and Pentatomomorpha, of course, are still sister to each other, with Leptopotomorpha sister to the combined uh, Simicomorphins and Pentatomomorphins. Uh, of note is that Nepomorpha is sister to the rest of Heteroptera, and then uh, Geromorpha is sister to Enocoseplomorpha and Dipsophoromorpha. And I'm not going to talk anymore about these large kind of, um, you know, across the whole suborder relationships, just because uh, there, the questions that existed before are still there and we're still not, uh, we, we still need more analyses to really confirm these relationships. But looking at Simicomorpha, we included 15 of the 17 families, which we're pretty excited about. Uh, this included um, yeah, many of these species, which are shown here. So then uh, we found that Regivioidea is sister to the rest of Simicomorpha. Uh, which agrees with Biochadal's analysis, which we were pretty happy with. Then we found that Tingidae and Tomastochoridae are sister to uh, the rest of Mir or to Miridae, which um, agrees. With, yeah, so if we look at Biochadal's analysis, we have, um, so this differs with Biochadal's um, relationships that they found with. Um, they're them finding uh, that Meridi and Tingidi are sister to Tomastochoridae. Then looking at evolution of traumatic insemination within Simicoidea. So um, here I have just the families that we included in our analysis. And then these red lightning bolts are showing when traumatic insemination occurred or occurs within the group and white lightning bolts are showing that no traumatic insemination occurs. Uh, and then you can see with plophiophility, it has both red and white because they have some species that do have traumatic insemination and some that do not. And we only included one representative from each family. So for example, plophiophility, that species we included does have traumatic insemination. However, uh, we definitely need to include more representatives to really get a, a better picture of this. But uh, using our data set, we have a couple of uh, hypotheses. So traumatic insemination could be ancestral to Simicoidea and then lost once within Lasiochilids. Or it could have been gained twice, once within Plophiophility, and then once kind of at the base of these families, and then uh, subsequently lost in Lasiochilids. Then looking across all of Simicomorpha, uh, traumatic insemination may have evolved three times, once within Nabids, Simicoidea, and then Miridae. Or it could have evolved four times. So we got a little bit clearer of a picture with our data set, but definitely still um, more data is needed to really get a, a, full, pic a full idea of how this fascinating behavior evolved. We are really excited that microphysoidea is confirmed and well-supported, especially we inc included this weird microphysid from South Africa, um, and we're excited to see that it was um, placed nicely within our tree. Uh, and this is also of note, just looking at Shu and Stice uh, analysis, found that microphysoidea is not monophyletic, and, um, whereas it is in biochidol. So we were excited to have this confirmed. 
then looking at neboidia, uh, we included uh, velocipedity and metacosticity, which we were really excited about and um, found uh, confirmed mon monophyly of this group, which is in uh, which does not agree with the Schuh and Stice hypothesis. Now looking at pentatomomorpha, we included 31 of the 41 families. We found that idiostyloidia, which you can kind of see with this yellow arrow here, is sister to the rest of pentatomomoidia. Uh, and this uh, is in disagreement with the Henry et al. or Henry analysis. And then we found that uh, pachygronthidae and artheneidae render lygioidia paraphyletic. And this was, I mean, uh, this was of note just because in the Demoy et al. analysis, which uh, had, we have uh, the same, same taxa included plus a little a few additional taxa as well. And so you can see that Pachygrantha is coming out within Ligioidea, but we're um, hypothesizing that this additional data set we have here, also with Artheneity, is what is rendering um, Ligioidea. What? Then we found the oxycarinity and ninity. So we included them for the first time with molecular data. And um, you can see their placement here within Pentatomomorpha, which you're excited about. Also looking at geochority, we found geochority is a monophyletic and sister to mousity. And uh, we found that riparochromity is nested within Ligeidae, uh, rendering Ligeidae uh, paraphyletic. Also, placement of Arodoidea is consistent within Pentatomomorpha. However, uh, we you can see that, uh, I don't know if my next slide is showing it highlighted. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, you can see here that tomatophidity is rendering Arodoidea paraphyletic. Then we have Pericoidea as sister to uh, Choroidea. We were excited to have included all five families of Choroidea, which you can see here. Um, and we have Choroidea and Elidity placement agreeing with Demoy et al. So um, yeah, that's this, yeah, uh, Choroidea sister to Elidity. However, placement of Cynocephality and Repality are differ from Lily et al. results. And placement of hyocephality differs from Henry et al. So now looking at pentatomoidia, we included 13 of the 15 families, and uh, we found that pentatomidae and tesseratomidae are not monophyletic. Uh, and here are just uh, pictures of those, and then again, just highlighted here, you can see uh, that tesseratomidae is coming out within pentatomidae. We also found that Sydney is paraphyletic. So uh, the subfamily Thyrocarini is sister to Scutellarity, which you can see here in that uh, blue box. And we found that the subfamily uh, Thaumostelini is sister to the rest of uh, is, is sister to the rest of the group. Uh, we were curious about the relationships between Megaridity and Canopidae. Uh, so they had, uh, we had not been tested with molecular data and um, their morphological similarity, and we found that they were sister to each other. And we found that uh, platospody is uh, not sister to those two. So in conclusion, just kind of briefly touching on some of the notes that I went over, we found that traumatic insemination is lost within Simicoidea and gained three or four times across Simicomorpha that Naboidea and Microphysoidea are monophyletic, Idiostoloidea, Solidae is sister to Pentatomoidea, and Ligioidea and Aradoidea are paraphyletic. I, um, of course, want to thank all, all our lab members that have helped with these analyses, the uh, Viroc Lab and the Johnson Lab, as well as our various funding sources, and I'm happy to take any questions.